Hey, 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 hello there guys, hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Train Sim World 4. Uh, we're going to do the reverse route uh, that we've done in our last episode. So we're travelling back up uh, to Edinburgh Waverley, yes. So I've chosen the 1 Lima 6A Perth to Edinburgh Waverley. It's the 8.45 uh, in the morning uh, journey. And it should take us one hour and six minutes, but you know me. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a bit of padding in there somewhere for old Jack. <laughs> Select the custom weather uh, because it's raining at the moment where I am when it's recording. So I've set it to the 28th of July uh, and it's going to be a light rain. So... Here we are, guys. Hello. Yes, so uh, we're on 1 Lima 6A Perth to Edinburgh Waverley. Uh, we're, running the, we're running the Class 170 uh, SCR. It's 145 tonnes, three cars, and 77.1 yards long. And we have switched off dynamic weather and we have selected light rain. Just thought I'd change it up a little bit. It should be quite nice. Put that on. Uh, Set lights off. Stay running. Turn that off. Um, that and there. I didn't do this on uh, the last episode, so. Do that, not that it's done anything. It might do it in a sec, mightn't it? Let's put our safety systems on. Oh, get the doors open as well. What platform are we on? Yep, that's right. Da, da, da. Oh, this controller is such a pain. There we go. Safety systems are on. Um. Oh. There we go. Yep, that's good. And I think we are just about good to go. Let's change this and there. Vent only. Ooh, vent only. And why not? Let's put the foot warmer on. Right. Oh, do you know what we haven't done? Do you know what we haven't done? Because it's raining both. There we go. Just help, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, welcome to Jack's channel. I always forget something. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this will be a nice uh, a nice run, because on the run up here on the last episode, we had it in. It was like thirty one degrees, wasn't it? It was lovely and sunny, some nice fluffy clouds, and I thought, you know, I'd just try something a bit different. It's raining where we are at the moment. Uh, I've just finished work for two weeks, and I thought, you know, I'll jump on, do the return journey today. And set the weather to the weather to where I am, if you follow me. Yes. Because I like rain. I like raining games. It's so hard in a game to get rain physics right on a, a, a window screen. And TML got a spot on with Fernbus. I mean, when you're driving in the rain there... Whoa. You know you're driving in the rain. It's so realistic. This is quite good. Right, where are we? 
Right, 5.6 mile away uh, from Kilcaddy platform number one. Uh, we have a line speed of 80 miles per hour. It is 8.48 in the morning at the moment. We have a green light uh, up ahead. I don't know what's going on with my audio. I hope it's all right. I do apologize. I can see the time now. Uh, I've moved my recording overlay. In the last episode, ooh, I had my recording overlay over the time. Let's just coast a bit. Going downhill a little bit. Let's have a look at our side. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Really nice. Ooh, yeah, let's keep the camera here. I tell you what, let's just get a screenshot while we're here. Da, da, da. About there. I like a little bit more saturation. Oh, that's saucy. Right. Take screenshots. Yes. I'll use that for my thumbnail. Let's just put a little bit of breaking in. Because we are going downhill. Oh, now we're going up. Oh, listen to that engine rev up. Really, really, really nice. Oh, yeah, I just want to say a big, massive thank you to uh, a few people. I had a bit of a issue, didn't I, on the last episode with the train uh, rolling back. Now, Lady Sophie and uh, Dave uh, Col Callista. Dave, I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, so Sophie and Dave have given me the heads up that there is uh, that little button there uh, can be pressed in uh, when we're uh, doing an uphill start and it will apply the brakes while the en engine revs up to then set off. And to do that, it's the left bumper button to put that in from... Uh, so we've got to be in a, in a brake position. And then left bump, oh god, left bumper button, and then engage the the throttle, and that should stop us from slipping back. So Dave and Soph, big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are absolute legends. You're in the legends club with everyone else. Yes, with Lenny the legends, with Unhumanoids, with a uh, ham fan, and everyone else, guys. Sophie, Dave legends thank you again right where are we uh, 2.7 mile away Ooh, slowing down a little bit aren't we let's go up to notch five Ooh. very nice Yeah, we are taking the more scenic route on the way back. I thought on the way up here that we were, we went along the coastline. Obviously, we didn't. We went the other way. Ooh, we went over a bit of a bump there. Yeah, we went around the, the longer way. Uh, this should be the coastline or route. Hopefully. I haven't done my research. <laughs> Just jumped on, picked uh, something, and uh, keep my fingers crossed. But it should be. Ooh. Graveyard there. Didn't see that. Didn't see that on the way down here on the last episode. Right, we are 1.6 mile away. Let's start thinking about maybe a... Uh, Oh, reducing speed soon. 
And thanks everyone for all the likes on the last episode and the comments and the views. It seems to have gone down really well. Get that slowed down. Yeah, it's, it's, it seems to have gone down really well, so thanks so much. It's been well received. I do uh, appreciate it. I'll be looking at picking up some other DLCs uh, along uh, they uh, all over the next uh, couple of weeks. I'm, I'm I'm torn between the Edinburgh Glasgow line or uh, the Blackpool uh, DLC. I do like the Suffragette line, the you know, the Goblin line that's just been uh, that's just been released. Reduced, I would nearly said, but it's just being released. Oh, let's get a bit of breaking in. Be a bit more. And I will pick that up at some point. Oh, there's our announcements. We'll soon arrive at Kirkcody. Kill Coddy. You oh my word, we're actually early. Yeah, I'll pick that up at some points. But it, it just give me your thoughts on slightly overshot that. Never mind, never mind. And doors open. I'll take the a, a slightly overshot. Yeah, because we should have been back here, shouldn't we? Yeah, the yeah. Uh, I'll take that over uh, being late any day. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, guys, your thoughts on the two that I'm looking at? So, what do you think of the Blackpool line? And um, what do you think of the is it the Glasgow Edinburgh line and the DLC? I, I'm 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 quite thinking I am um, leaning more towards Blackpool with the pacers because I like it. I, I like a pacer. I really do. Well, we are really early, aren't we? Super duper early. Look okay, at that. Say uh, eight fifty-five. What is beeping at me? Oh, that. Tell you what, let's open the doors and see if any more passengers want to get on. I know they can just come along and press the button themselves. All right, love, where's your umbrella? She's a bit of a mission here, isn't she? <laughs> Maybe she's going to waylay this guy when they get down to the bottom, wherever he's going, because she looks like, she's like, I'm going to have him. Maybe he's done her wrong somewhere. Maybe he's pinched her umbrella. And she's going to get him back. So she, he's, he's, he's going to walk down here somewhere. And then she's going to duff him in. <laughs> she's putting hers up. Look, she's got hers. Well done, love. Nice. Yeah, so your feedback on that will be much, uh, much appreciated. Yeah, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the the Blackpool line with the pacer. But uh, what if you've got both of those DLCs? Let me know which one's the best in your opinion and why. And that will help me uh, help me decide. Decide. I'm a big fan of window wipers as well, and these window wipers are quite nice. Uh, platform announcements, uh, telling people to drink water. Right, I think we're off in just a sec. Two, one.
What have you done, Jack? Ah. It's alright. Still learning. Close the bloody doors. And we're off. I was thinking there. That's because I was waffling on. I, I said, open the doors. Do you know what? When it tells me to close the doors in future, I'm going to keep them closed. Not open them again yet. Yeah, just keep them closed. And then that won't happen again. Oh, just another graveyard there. Look at that. Very nice. So let's just have a quick look at our schedule. Uh, so we've just been to kill Caddy. So our next stop is King Bum, King Bo King Horn Platform One, and then Burns Island Platform One, and then Outdoor. Uh, I've just made that one, haven't I? Platform One, and then Dow Gaddy Bay Platform One, Inverkeating Platform One, Edinburgh Gateway Platform One. And then South Gateway at 9.40 on Platform 1. Haymarket on Platform 1 at 9.46. And then our final stop uh, on this today's journey will be Edinburgh Waverley Pla Platform 17 when we're due in at 9.51. Yeah, so basically the, the whole run is about an hour. And I, this is what I love about this game, or this, this particular DLC is that it's a stop and that, that's what I like I, I, that's what I call stop is I don't know what the technical name for it I don't like where you can just get on and you can travel 150 200 miles and then get off with no stops in between do you get me that's what I'm that, that's what I mean Ooh. football stadium there this is nice, isn't it? Somebody let me know uh, what team plays there. I'm not really into football. I don't mind watching it. My son's really into football. If he was here, he'd probably be able to uh, tell me. This is really nice. Really, really, really nice. Ooh. You know me? I like nosing in people's back gardens. 65 coming up. It's a nice roundabout there as well. Let's just bring our speed down a little bit. It looks like we're going up. It doesn't look like we've got a downward gradient, does it? Is it just my eyes? It does look like we're going up, but there on the on the hood, it says that we've got a 0 0.2 gradient going down. Ooh, look at that. Right, 0 0.6 away. It's our announcements. We'll soon arrive at Kinghorn. Kinghorn. I got that one right. Ooh, this is nice, isn't it, guys? Nice little caravan park there. Lovely church. I'm getting distracted. Really nice. Ooh, get off the bloody track. Ooh, he teleported away. Ah. At least some parts of it. 
That's me looking at the bloody scenery. Go on. <laughs> Go on, get up. Sorry about that, guys. You can get on. Look, he's just jumped off the... <laughs> oh, my word. He just jumped off and jumped in. Did you see that? I'm going to clip that later on. Come on. Are you going to do it? Come on. Come on, love. Jump. Oh, you missed. Come on. Oh, my words. Oh, my words. It's a good job. That is it. I, uh, I haven't said I'm going to be a professional driver today. Because that's out the window. <laughs> I can just imagine it here, all the comments in the comment box down below. Jack, you silly sausage and stuff like that. Do you know what? If you're new to the channel, you, you don't know me. Or you, you don't know what I'm like when I'm driving somewhere new or if I'm playing like a new simulator. The guys that have been with the channel a long time know that I do like to uh, sort of get lost. lose myself looking at the new scenery and then yes things happen there we go just like that <laughs> right okay we've got a 65 coming up uh, next stop is from Finland platform one Here we go. Alright, two mile away. Let's have a quick look. Because this is like the holiday part of the map, isn't it? Ooh, really nice. Really nice. Ooh, there's a bit of popping there where the scenery just popped in. I've noticed a few bits of popping here, there and everywhere. Some more caravans up there. Let's just coast a bit. I'd say, what the line isn't busy, is it? I think in the last episode, only seen uh, one of us other service coming the opposite way. Church up there as well. Really nice. Oh, another graveyard. That's three we've passed now. So somebody keep keep a tally. That's uh, graveyard number three. It's not often you see graveyards in uh, in simulating games, you know. Simulator, simulator games, Jack. Right. We're going to drop down to a 40 before we know it. So let's just get on it now. We'll soon arrive at Burnt Islands. Burnt Islands. Don't forget there we go. to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. No, we won't, my love. Of a sound glitch there. Let's see if we can get this uh, better than the last one. Ooh, almost perfect. Just about perfect on time as well. 
I wonder if I open... Mm, I was just thinking, if I open this door, will we hear the announcement a bit louder? Because I know when you're on the platform, and if you hover your camera around where the speakers are on the platform, you can hear the uh, platform announcements uh, more clearer. Let's get them doors locked. Anybody who's mystic can go and get stuffed. Oh, that's a lovely sound hearing that engine rev up. Never gets old. Hmm. I was just gonna say that texture on the the the, the brick war texture was a bit bright wasn't it because all this down here is a bit dark isn't it that just seemed a bit bright Ooh, look at that really nice oh sightseeing again Right, that's service number one that we've seen. So that's three graveyards and service number one. Right, we're doing our next station of Al... Alba... Albedo? Platform one. Uh, 12 minutes past nine. A green lights. A 75 speed limit coming up. We got to that station just in time. Did you notice that? Ooh, isn't that lovely? That is really, really, really nice. Do you know what? So far, I am really enjoying this run. It's just nice and chilled. The whole game is just nice and chilled as long as you keep an eye on what you're doing we've well, we got 55 coming up let's just coast along that's what I've got to learn I mean I guess once I've driven the, the, the both routes uh, quite a few times I'll be used to the scenery I won't get distracted by sightseeing like I'm tempted to go outside to cam and outside cam now, but I'm not going to. No point eight mile away. Oh, green light overhead. It says fifty five there, doesn't it? So tempting to speed up. Oh, well, let's just put notch one in. Oh, here's our lady. We'll soon arrive at Aberdower. Abadawa, I was a million miles off. Guys, if you live in Abadawa, and I've just butchered the name of your town, I do apologise. Spot on. 
seven seconds late. There we go. It's not bad. All aboard the Jack Death Express. Look at him, I wonder where he's, he's off in his jolly hollies. Where are you going, mate? Where you're off? The train's here, lads. Oi! Snooze, you lose. That's up in the doors on the other side. <laughs> Go and get stuffed. There we go. Oh, I didn't do that hill star thing. Ah, in the next one. I'll give it a go in the next one, guys. <laughs> oh, wow, that's nice, isn't it? Really nice. Oh, it's quite a steep gradient as well, isn't it? 0.9. You can really... Oh, look at this. Should be coming to the bridge in a bit. 65. 75 now. Got the throttle open all the way. Ooh, some nice hay bales there. Do you know what? I love playing farming sim. Uh, and all of the farming simulator games absolutely love them and one of my favorite things to do after harvesting a field is doing baling I'm not a fan of picking the bales up and loading them onto um, like, a, a, like a flatbed uh, to be transported but I, I do do you know like when you when, when you're doing the uh, the harvest and, and you turn the swaths on uh, so you've got like, the nice long lines of uh, straw to pick up or what's left over after doing the, the harvesting and picking those up with a baler and baling I love doing that it's one of my favourite jobs I mean when my friends play it if they, if they do the harvest and they, they don't like they're not really too fussed on doing the baling just leave it up to me. Love it. Do that all day long. Just like on Construction Simulator. Uh, do you know one of my favourite jobs to do on that? My audio seems to be crackling a bit. I do apologise. It might be a bit of lag. Uh, one of my favourite jobs to do on that is crane work. I love doing crane work. Unloading. Loading. Uh, putting panels into place. Absolutely love it. So a bit of coasting. Uh, Dagetti Bay, platform one. Let's see if we got that right. Or Dagetti, or Daigetti. Dagetti. Here we go. She'll tell us now. We'll soon arrive at Dagetti Bay. Dagetti. Oh, I got that right. Ten points. <laughs> ah, we're late. We are late. The schedule's out the window. Never mind. Stop, 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 stop. And breathe. That was lucky. Now let's have a look around the station. It's quite nice, isn't it? Do you know, to be fair, 
all the stations are nice. It's a pity you can't come up this concourse, or up here, not concourse, onto the bridge and go over to the other side. It's a shame. It is. Uh, we're nearly a minute late. Get them doors locked. And we're off. Where are we next? Uh, in the Keating. We're off to next. So we've got in the Keating. Uh, just give me a sec, guys. One sec. Hey guys, back again, sorry about that. I was just uh, helping my son out with something, he's uh, misplaced his phone. Yes, where are we? Right, uh, so Inver Keating, Edinburgh Gateway, South Gow Platform, Haymarket, and then Edinburgh Waverley. So not far to go now. Proceed as signals indicated. Okie dokie. It's just coast. Oh, there's some nice pylons there. Nice substation. That's nice. We'll soon arrive at Inverkeven. Ooh. Don't forget your belongings with you before you leave the train. That's a bit of a naughty one, that is. That caught me right off guard. Oh, some the more nice graffiti. Love it. Service number two. Nice, isn't it? That's really, really, really nice to save that. And we're taking a photograph. We've overshot our <laughs> stop it, marker. <laughs> never mind, never mind. There's always another day to be a professional train driver on Train Sim Worlds. I keep opening them up by mistake. Really nice. Just, just like that. Right, let's get back into cab. until 9.24. Ooh, we've made a bit of time up. Nice. So, I know we're going downhill, but to increase what we've that. Oh, does it only work when you're going uphill? It's left bumper. Never mind. Right, got a bit of time, let's have a look around. That's...
Wouldn't it be good if you seen the uh, RPUs coming in and doing some uh, revenue protection, uh, ticket inspections? That would be really good. Why are we being held here? No idea. The clicks machines. Best not try and get too distracted, but off in a minute. I wonder where the toilets are. I know there's toilets on the train, but you normally get toilets in a station as well. Probably over there. Right, let's get back into cab and get ready to push off. So, we've really made that back now, haven't we? So, as long as I don't make any silly uh, mistakes, we could get this in the bag come in around about the right time to arrive that would have due to arrive even do you know why we were here we could have read the cleanliness we'll do that next time we get a bit of time here we go. And we're off. Au revoir. Next up is Edinburgh Gateway. We're due in at 9.37 and it's 7.1 uh, mile away. Ooh. Nice tunnel coming up. I do like a nice tunnel. <laughs> That's saucy. <laughs> Yo, we can drop the hammer a bit all the way we're going uphill 1.4 gradients Ooh, just struggling up here aren't we earlier on today I was on the Austrian map do you know the the one that came with the uh, the base game and you get that uh, the oh is it the old double B a train, electric train to drive on that. Now, do you know what it sort of reminds me of doing? It, 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 it was, don't berate me for it, but it reminds me of a tram. Like you're driving, oh, graveyard number four, guys. So two services, four graveyards. Somebody be making, uh, hope somebody's keeping check on this. Oh, here we go. The bridge is just over, over here. Yeah, and it reminds me of driving a um, an oversized tram. Does anybody else get that sort of like feeling about it? Or is it just me? Am I just strange? I could just. I am strange. I really am. That 50 coming up. We're going to pass through a station. That does something to me, that does. <laughs> Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Love it. Love this game. Here we are. 
This should level itself out. There it does. Yeah, there we go. Keep it in step four. And we'll get a nice photograph going across this bridge. Because we got one coming down, didn't we? So we'll get another one. We'll get we'll do it now. There we go. If you're wondering how you do that, if you just push push in both uh, your left and right stick at the same time, it automatically opens up uh, the photo mode. Saves coming out and going into the menu and uh, and doing it that way. That's rather quite nice. Let's get this saturation. Already a 60, wasn't it? So it keeps that 64. Oh, that is nice. Right, so there we go. No more photographs. I, I, I love it, the sound of the engine when it revs up. And then when you put it into coasting and it just goes. <laughs> Let's hear what it sounds like on the outside. Right, where's the engine car? It's right here. So let's rev it up. Listen to that. That is amazing. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Yes. <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you what we can do is we can turn those cab lights off. Where is the cab lights? Because I don't think there's any more tunnels. Got a speed limit of 80 coming up. There's the engine revving up. That's lovely, that. No one's waiting here. Oh, yes, they are. They just spawned in there on the right-hand side. Right, let's open her up. We got an 80 all the way, and there's a hundred there. We are going up at uh, 0.5 gradients, and we are 3.7 miles away from Edinburgh Gateway Platform Number One, which we're due to arrive at 9:37. Get up to that magic 80. We've got a hundred coming up now. Really nice. Pay attention, Jack. Gonna have a quick sip of water. Ooh, we might just touch that hundred. Uh, a downhill gradient now of one, exactly one percent. Starting to rock and roll. Eighty. I've not been past eighty five in one of these. Eighty two. Eighty three. Four. Eighty five. Whoa. Eighty six. I'll probably get told off for doing this. Eighty seven. 
just coast. 88. I'm not going any faster than that. <laughs> well, well, only because we're coming fastly coming up on Edinburgh Gateway. Let's put it into brake one. Bring a bit that speed down. Because we're only 1.1 mile away now. We'll be there before you know it. There's the uh, airfield just off to the right hand side. And then caissons with some lovely construction work going on the left hand side. The uphill gradient uh, acts as a, a bit of an extra break, doesn't it? In my mind. Stop, 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 stop. Not bad, not bad. I have to throw the emergency brake in, but... And doors open. We are actually early. We are really early. Right, Um. Tell you what, let's go for a little walk around. We've got a couple of minutes to spare. There we go. I'll wait here until 8.30. Ooh, can we go in there? Post that? No. That works. Ooh, nice. Four minutes. Stuff only. This is nice, isn't it? Really is nice. Can't go out there. Anything to. Oh, post that. Yep, yeah, there we go. Get that. Ooh, we'll get this as well. There we go. And we shouldn't do this, but there we go. Get back in. There we go. We got a couple of collectibles there. DRA, DRA. What does that do, guys? A DRA push to set, pull to reset. I know what the AWS is. Oh, yes. Uh, five, six, we've got a few minutes to kill, haven't we? Right, so cleanliness, guys. Take notes. Cleanliness, absolute cleanliness, is essential in all compartments of this vehicle. Waste, sponge, cloths, paper, or any other article of consumable nature must not be stowed in this compartment. So don't bring your packed lunch in here, in other words. Uh, the greatest of care must be taken uh, to prevent the spilling of oil onto the floor. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, should any be spilt, it must be removed at once. Okay, fire action. Uh, operate the ETS switch and attempt to extinguish the fire. If the fire cannot be extinguished with one extinguisher, stop the train. Uh, avoiding tunnels and uh, viaducts where possible. Uh, evacuate the passengers to the adjacent vehicles and then close the connecting doors. If it is necessary to uh, detrain the passengers, take all uh, practical steps to ensure uh, their safety. Uh, Deterring on the uh, safer sides. Ensuring that they stand clear of all running lines, keeping them clear, 
of uh, the third rail that's fine and five remain with your passengers to protect and reassure them as necessary Fitness assistance from other members of staff. Fine, fine. Okay, get them doors closed. That was interesting, wasn't it? That was really interesting. On the next long stop, guys, we will have a read at some of the electric shock rescue and treatments and emergency resuscitation. I like that because they're under a canopy. They put the umbrellas down. That's nice, isn't it? And you see them down there because they're not under the canopy. They've got the umbrellas up. Really nice. I'm going to get knocked down for speed now, aren't I? Oh, so where, who's, who's next? Or oh, what platform? Or oh, what station's next? South Gyle, platform number one. Push off in five seconds. What's he doing? Look at him there. He doesn't know what he's doing, does he? He's like, he's picking a fight. Come on, what a fight. Come on. The kickoff merchants. <laughs> This is only, it's not far away, it's only 0.8 mile away. So keep it in step four. Going downhill, so we'll build up a bit of speed. There we go. So tempted to speed up. Go to notch one. Here we are, a uh, South Gale, ladies and gentlemen. Stopping right at the end of the platform. Oh, we shot that. By a lot, do you think? Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Now, Sophie, uh, thanks again, uh, also said that we can lock out some doors, but I do not know. Door close interlock. Is that it? You'd have to let me know, Soph, if that was the right one. There's the guard buzzer. Beep, beep. Oh, I didn't do that bloody thing again. Oh, do you know what? I, I'll, later on, I'll be playing this when I'm not recording. I will do it then. 
and then hopefully on the next episode I'll uh, I'll have it uh, you know I'll be a dab hand at it right 3.1 mile away got a speed limit of 75 soon to be 90 green signals all the way this ballast is a bit white isn't it Maybe it's just with the uh, the weather conditions. It almost looks a bit like snow. It could just be with it being uh, running on the S. You know, it's it's not, it's not the, the graphics aren't as good. You can't, it's not gra it's, it's graphically challenged. Is the S. But it does a really good job, you know. It really, really, really does. I'm not knocking it. Whoa! Service number three. Was that service number four? Three or four? So I hope somebody's keeping their check on these. I haven't come ac I haven't seen any other graveyards. Not unless I've missed them. Let's have a look outside. Ooh. Really nice. This is a lovely stretch of track, isn't it? It really is. You can see on the other track there where it's electrified and on the overhead. I uh, don't know the technical name for it. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me. And on this uh, track, it's not. Overhead elect electrification. Get me words around that. I guess that's a tram line. That's got to be a tram line because I've just seen some bus stops. Yeah, that's a tram line, that is, isn't it? Because I did see some bus stops or tram stops. Let's put a bit of braking in. Maybe a bit more braking. Ooh, there's an ashes wash there. I know what one of them looks like. Oh, yes. With the trains going in and get uh, washed. Ooh, we've missed our announcements. Oh, there she is. Ooh, made up a bit more time, guys. I think this is our penultimate stop, isn't it? It is. Lovely passages waiting to get on. Ooh, that's going to be about spot on that. Oh, yes. It's not bad, that. Not bad at all. Two, about two minutes early. All right, my love. Where are they going? <laughs> Love it. Ooh, this is nice, isn't it? Do you know, on the next episodes, we'll do some of the journey as a passenger and we will investigate uh, the, uh, the carriages. Well, it's quite quiet, isn't it? Let's get back in our cab. 
We turn to 947. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, uh, we'll take a, 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 a trip as a passenger part way. Time are we due in uh, Edinburgh? Nine fifty-one. It's not far away. This reminds me of when you're coming to Liverpool Lime Street and you're going through the tunnels just before you come into Lime Street Station. Except the... It's a bit wider. Feels a bit claustrophobic at the moment. Here we go. Lovely jubbly, we'll have the bagpipes in a minute. Really nice, isn't it? Really, really, really nice. Whoa, speed uh whoa 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 took my eye off the ball there. Sorry about that guys. Sightseeing again, see? <laughs> what are we coming in on? Um, platform 17. Let's see if we can get a, a good stop in here. It's just lovely, isn't it? Stop it, Jack. Stop it. Get back in. <laughs> now, here we are at our journey's end. Do you know what? It has been over an hour. It's been about an hour and ten minutes. But, you know, it, it really, really, really doesn't feel like an hour. It really doesn't. Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, today's episode. Uh, if you have, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And the little bell icon, don't forget to give that a little tinkle. And that will let you know the next time that I drop some new content. That could just be for you. Let's just creep in. That's about spot on, look at that. It is. I am happy with that. Let's let all of our lovely passengers off. Right. Welcome to the ScotRail service to Glenrothes with Thornton. Calling at Haymarket, South Gael, Edinburgh Gateway, Dalmeny. North Queen's Ferry, Inverkeeding, Brosaith, Dunfermline City, Dunfermline Queen Margaret, Cowdenbeath, Loch Gelly, Cardendon, Glenrothes with Thornton. If you
you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. I think that is that. There we go. Not too bad at all. Well, not for me. Let's see what we get. All right. So objectives completed was 2,750. Uh, distance traveled, we got 4,620. Uh, used safety systems, 3,960. Uh, we didn't set the cab up, so that's fine. We did get speed and a uh, deduction of 390. I knew that. Uh, no wipers in rain. No uh, stops. On time bonus, 644. And accuracy bonus is 1,545. And on the left-hand side, uh, I think we have done... All right. We were there and uh, Dalgagi Bay. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we were a minute late there. Uh, we were three minutes early uh, in the Keating. We were well early at uh, Edinburgh Gateway. We were on time at South Gale. Um, minute early at Haymarket. And a minute early here at Edinburgh. So, yeah, I, I'll take that. That's really good. Really, really, really good. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Let's go back to free roam. Let's close that up. Oh, oh hang on a minute. <laughs> I thought I was already outside. <laughs> Silly sausage. <laughs> right. Let's go and have a quick look around here. Won't let us through. Oh, any of these open? There we go. I heard about this. You can actually play this, can't you? Isn't that brilliant? That is lovely. With that playing in the background, guys, I will say. Thanks very much for coming along. I really do appreciate it. As I said before, if you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like, comment. Oh, she's a bit serious, wasn't she? Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially if you haven't already done so. Hit the notification bell. That'll let you know the next time that I drop some new content. And with that being said, I am off next week. There's a few bits and pieces along the way for you guys to watch. Uh, and I'll catch you the week after next when I'm back off my holidays. Guys, you're awesome. Love you loads. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.